Can you, you got me, Patrick? Yep, loud and clear. All right, guys. Let's get started with coats. No shortage of hands. We'll get started with Lauren Rosen of Sixers.com. Go ahead, Lauren. Hey, Doc. I know it's a little early to make any definitive statements about the group's character, but what did you learn about what they were able to do late in the game there with their heart and effort? Uh, you know what I loved about the game is, uh, Lauren, we didn't play well. Um, you know, we had stretches that we played well. Um, and, you know, you could see in that little third quarter, body language was struggling, and they caught themselves. And, and they just found a way to win. Um, you know, the execution down the stretch of the fourth quarter for a team that hasn't been together was, was unbelievable on both ends. So we, we, we love that part. Um, you know, I guess the down part of the game for me was five minutes before halftime, we're up 10. Uh, we had a chance to be up 20. And that's one of the things I told them at halftime. When you got a chance to do that, you have to do it. Uh, we took quick bad shots in a row. Uh, we had a matchup on the post that we didn't go to. So overall, I love the win. Next two questions from Paul Hudrick and Kai Carlin, starting with Paul. Hey, Doc. Uh, I think when you talked to most of us about how good shape looked, I think we all kind of assumed offensively. But defensively tonight, you had them on Bradley Beal and, and Russell Westbrook an awful lot. Uh, what did you see in, in those matchups? And were you did he kind of maybe exceed your expectations of how well he kind of handled those assignments? Yes, is the answer, Paul. You know, honestly, it, this is a great example. You're going to game with a plan. Um, he was so good offensively, we needed to keep him on the floor. And, you know, he ends up on Bradley Beal. He does a terrific job. He ends up on Westbrook. He holds his ground. You know, one of the things we, we talked to him about, you know, right before the season started is, Listen, we're going to lean on you offensively, but that doesn't mean you get a pass on the other end. Uh, and today or tonight, he showed that he wasn't taking a pass. I thought he was terrific. Thanks. Go ahead, Kai. <clears throat> Kai Carlin next. All Sorry, right, let's go. Go ahead. You said this off. Uh, this whole Zoom thing. Um, so, Coach, Tobias really had a, a rough night tonight. What do you yeah. really um, think was the cause of that? And maybe is there a way for you to find to help him find a rhythm or something within the No, office? he just missed shots. You know, I thought he was hesitant. Um, thought he had even that last drive where he made the free throws. I thought that should have been a dunk. Um, we'll watch the film. We'll get him uncaged. He'll be fine. Do, do you think it was the same kind of pressing, overthinking a little bit maybe? Uh, Kai, I don't even know. I, I'm telling you, I'm not smart enough to get in his head. So... Um, but he'll be fine. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Let's go to Kevin Kincaid up next. Go ahead, Kevin. Hey, Doc, you had uh, five straight possessions there at the end where you got points, uh, four baskets and two foul shots. I think Seth hit a shot, Joel hit a shot, Ben hit a shot. Uh, it seemed like it was closer by committee. What was sort of the approach there? Yeah, you know, we, we went to that elbow action, uh, and it was terrific, you know. And uh, what I loved about it, I can't wait, wait to watch the film, we got three different options on the same play. Uh, that means not only that they were engaged, but they were thinking. Uh, I thought the best play of the game was Seth's pass out of the timeout. You know, Ben made a great cut. Uh, I think Ben gets a dunk there. It was the same action. It just looked different. Um, and so that's nice. That's what you have to do to win games. You fall on a play, and you stay with it until they stop it. Um, I think we scored six out of seven uh, on the same action. And, and it's great. I told him. That's what you do, feed the pig. If the play doesn't, if they can't stop it, keep running it. Uh, we did the opposite of that in the first half. We, we ran a play and scored twice and went away from it for five, for five possessions. Those are the things that can happen. Let's do the next two with um, Keith Pompey and Tom Moore. Let's go to Keith first. Hey, hey what's up, Doc? Um, I saw that you went to Matisse late. But was it one of those things that you – were you thinking about getting them in earlier? No. I mean, really, you know, Matisse missed some time in camp. Uh, the young fella's playing great. I thought in the first half uh, he was terrific. Uh, but Matisse will get his chance, and, and I tell him that every day. Uh, what I liked about Matisse, you know, you've been around this league a long time. A guy haven't played all game and you turn to him. A lot of times they'll give you the bad body language and – Matisse ripped his – he couldn't wait to get in. Uh, that, that tells me a lot about him. 
What do you think is, is going on with, with Danny? It, it just seems like he wasn't in rhythm today. And you you saw the same Danny. thing I saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Listen, Danny has not played a lot, you know. Uh, you, did you watch the Lakers play yesterday? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's Danny it. Green. Just add Danny yeah. with that team, too. You know, yeah. like, it's, it's tough. These guys played so late. Uh, he's not young, and so I'll be patient with him. But overall, you're pleased with everything. Yeah. 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 Thanks, man. Tom's question will be the last question for Coach. Go ahead, Tom Moore. Thank you. Uh, Doc, it, it, it looked like the you had some better spacing uh, early in the fourth quarter when you went with four shooters around Joel. I was just curious about w what you saw there. Yeah, we, we, that's what we did, you know. But we still put Mike Scott in, like, the dunker spot because you still need spacing. So there's always someone there. I liked him at the elbow dive and instead of at the, actually at the dunker spot. And then when Ben came back in, we did the same stuff and, and Joel had the same success. Um, it was good to see um, Joel face the double teams. He's going to face them every night, and we just have to keep getting better, uh, get him better and getting our guys better at, at dealing with him. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.